A proof by induction, also known as reasoning by recurrence, is a type of proof used to prove mathematical conjectures. Such proofs are used to prove a statement in terms of n true for all n. We can look at proofs by induction as a domino effect, which is when you knock down the first domino, it knocks down the second, that knocks down the third, etc. That is because in the first step you are required to check that the statement is true for the first value of n. Then the second step consists of assuming the statement true for rank k, which means you are assuming the statement true for n equal to k where k could be any integer. Then in step 3, using the assumption made that the statement is true for n equal to k, we prove the statement true for the next rank, which is n equals to k plus 1. Now why does that have the domino effect? Because we started by checking the statement true for the first value of n, say n equals to 1. That is like knocking down the first domino. Then knowing the statement true for n equals to 1, according to step 3, the statement should be true for the next rank n equals to 2, which knocks down the second domino. Again, knowing the statement true now for n equals to 2, according to step 3, the statement should be true for the next rank n equals to 3, which knocks down the third domino, and that could go on infinitely. For example, suppose I want to prove that the sum of 1, 3, and 5 till 2 and minus 1 is equal to n squared for all n in d plus. Before proving the statement by induction, let's make sense of how the statement works. For n equal to 1, the left-hand side consists of the first term 1, which the right-hand side should be equal to it for n equals to 1. For n equals to 2, the left-hand side consists of the sum of the first two terms, 1 and 3, which should be equal to the right-hand side for n equals to 2. Again, for n equals to 3, the left-hand side consists of the sum of the first three terms, 1 plus 3 plus 5, which should be equal to the right-hand side for n equals to 3, and that goes on. Where is the last term you see on the left-hand side is written using the general term forming the sequence corresponding to the series, which you consider to be the last term of the sum for a given rank n in d+. Now to prove the statement by induction, we start by checking the statement true for n equals to 1. For n equals to 1, the left-hand side is equal to 1, while the right-hand side is equal to 1 squared, which is 1. The left-hand side being equal to the right-hand side, then the statement is true for n equals to 1. Then I assume the statement true for rank k, which means replacing n by k in the given statement we have the sum 1 plus 3 plus 5 all the way to 2k minus 1 assumed to be equal to k squared. Using that assumption, we are going to prove the statement true for the next rank n equals to k plus 1. To clearly see the statement to prove, I replace in the given statement n by k plus 1. I thus need to prove that the sum 1 plus 3 plus 5 all the way to 2k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 all squared. In my required to prove statement, I have the left hand side that I need to prove equal to the right hand side. Starting with my left hand side, 2k plus 1 being the term corresponding to n equals to k plus 1, then the term corresponding to n equals to k is exactly before it. According to my assumption, the sum from 1 to 2k minus 1 is equal to k squared. Replacing the sum of the first k terms by k squared, and as this is a sum, the parentheses here can be ignored, we now have the left-hand side equal to k squared plus 2k plus 1 which is in the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Then that is factorized into k plus 1 all squared, which is the right-hand side we were aiming to reach. Then the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1, given that it was assumed true for n equals to k. 
Therefore, I deduce that the statement is true for all m in z plus.